No, it says that you're live now. All right, we are live. I can see it in the group. That is awesome. Welcome everybody to the wearable wellness launch this week. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining us during the week, uh, watching the posts that have been going up. And, uh, you know, we have a special talk tonight, just a laid back conversation about the technology, what it is, how it works. And then we'll go into a Q&A period as well. I have a couple of my amazing associates joining me on Zoom tonight, along with my amazing co-host and my friend and mentor, Kevin Duguay. So before we get started, I just wanted to quickly let you know, we do not claim to treat prevent, cure, or diagnose any medical condition whatsoever. But what you are going to see tonight is something that's going to blow your mind if you're brand new to Vox Life. And for those of you that have already used our technology, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to turn this over to Kevin to uh, start us out with a brief overview of what Vox Life is, how it works, and we'll go from there. Thanks, Karen. Uh, I love your pun, going to blow your mind, because that's what it's all about. It's all about neurology. So for those who don't know me, my name is Kevin Duguay. My background is sports medicine and athletic therapy. I've been in that journey for over 40 years. And eight years ago, probably about eight years ago, I came into this technology through a friend. And it's changed a lot in the eight years. And we have a lot of exciting things to share tonight. But I'm going to give you simple layman's terms as we say, on how this works. So this technology is a wearable neural technology. So when you hear the word neural, you got to think about the brain. If you don't know anything about the brain, the only thing you have to know is that the brain is in charge of your entire body. If your brain is not right, you're not right. So you can probably think right now, somebody in your family or your friends that has some type of a neurological inconvenience, Okay, and you can see how that neurological inconvenience has affected their quality of life. And what we've found through this journey is that we have different technologies that optimize, is the word I like to use, different neural networks in the brain. So think of different television stations. In the medical word, we call these Broadman areas. These are different areas of the brain that are responsible for different functions. So just like each channel shows a different show and your TV converter works all together, the same thing with the tech that it's about helping this be at its best. Another analogy I use with people, it's like having a brain on, uh, on dial-up versus high speed. If you've all been growing up like I have and you had dial-up, you understand that, man, it's really slow and operating. And what if you could change how your brain functions? So that's what this tech is. And it's based on pattern recognition. So the beauty with this tech is, first of all, and most exciting of all, there's no drugs. There's no chemicals. Well, there's an adhesive. Okay, There's a hypoallergenic adhesive. It's the only chemical if you want to look at that. But there's no drugs. Therefore, there's no side effects. It's non-invasive. So there's no needles. There's no surgeries. There's no, nothing coming into the body. It's all on the surface. And I'm sure you can see this right there. This is a patch. Oh, sorry for the ear bubbles. But you can see like a fingerprint almost right there on this pattern. You can see how wafer thin this is. Your nervous system is so sensitive, folks. The piece of touch is so powerful and this is how it works. So we have these different patterns, just like these different stations, that when your skin or the nerve receptors on your skin feel or pick up through touch that pattern, that area of the brain that it's responsible for is optimized. In other words, what? It functions better. So for those of you who don't know anything about your body, you can look good on the outside, right? You can have gorgeous makeup and your hair's all nice. I'll try to work my hair tonight. And you're looking at your skin color and all that, but it's how you function on the inside. Color and all that, but it's how you function on the inside. Again, I go back on background. It's like echo. Function 
is the most important thing of how you are doing. So on that note, we have eight different technologies that you can wear. You decide what's most important for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out each one of the texts. We have this like super cool packaging now. This is one of my, my disclaimer. This is one of my most favorite technologies. Let me tell you why. See the word there called defend? My background is sports. What I learned is defense wins championships. What's your defense in your body? It's your immune system. Now, we, everybody in the world knows about the immune system because what we've come out over the last few years. What I have learned, if your immune system is working in top gear, guess what? This is my personal experience. You don't get sick, period. Why? Because your immune system is there to defend you. So whatever you can do or whatever you can wear to optimize an area where maybe you're having some challenges because you know your body folks because why you live in it 24 7 365 and this is how we talk to people so i'm just going to read each one very simple analogy and you can start thinking about your body about you know what that sounds really interesting so i'm just going to read from the company's page so i don't mess anything up so the first one another one so one is called the rem patch so when you hear the word rem you think about sleep so let me tell you a little story when I meet people on the street, I ask them a very simple question because I got a granddaughter. She's so cute. She's two years old. Granddaughters at two years old have no problem sleeping. You need to understand this, folks. If you are not sleeping through the night, in other words, when your head hits the pillow and you don't, and you only wake up when the alarm goes off in the morning, that's been the right kind of sleep. If you are waking up several, even once in the evening, in that sleep cycle, you have an inconvenience. You have a challenge. Something's not right in your sleep network. So that patch called the REM patch is sleep like never before. So if you are having sleep challenges, again, no drugs, no chemicals, no side effects, non-invasive, put on your upper arm. I'm going to show you part in the farmer's tent. But see, I got my pink patch right there. That's my defend patch. That's my for my immune system. Okay. You just got to put it on your arm and go to bed. That's all you got to do. Do your own sleep study. But I wear a Fitbit. I get a Fitbit that gives me a sleep report card every morning when I wake up. I go look at my deep sleep and my REM sleep. And deep sleep and REM sleep is about healing the body and healing the brain. And if you don't get into those phases of sleep, folks, you got a problem. Just telling what it is. Okay. So that's number one, REM sleep. Next one is the victory patch. I'm going to read what it says. Athletic performance like never before. So my background in sports medicine, working with athletes. When I ask them a very simple question, how important is balance, power, stability, and endurance to you as an athlete? They all go, same answer. Kev, it's like everything. So if I could show you something that you could wear that could optimize that neural network in the brain, that you could function better as an athlete. Would you like to see it? Absolutely, Kev. And there's a demo that we do, and that's not for this call, but there's a demo that we do with people to show them instantly how we change balance, power, split. And I can tell you folks on this call, in the eight years that I have been conducting these demos with athletes from the highest professional levels, there are always blown away because they all think they're good but they don't understand the difference between good and excellent there's a space there they think they're good because they look at the outside but they don't understand how we can help optimize the inside so that's a victory patch number two number three flow pay attention like never before so again if you're having challenges concentrating being focused, or you're in an occupation where you got to be on point, like a pilot landing a, landing a plane in a storm, or driving a car in a storm, or whatever as a student, and you're going, you know what? I have some challenges in those areas, Kev. This may be the patch for you. Okay, so number three. Number four, freedom patch. This is a big one. Reason why? Deal with pain like never before. 
the pain, the epidemic of chronic pain in the Western world is an epidemic. I meet people all the time with this problem. Again, we're solutions based company. We solve, we help potentially solve people's problems. Why? By giving them an option. My background in sports, I understand the epidemic of addictive painkillers. Saw it in my world of pro sports. Seen athletes who have been addicted to, pro, to, to painkillers. To be able to offer them an option that is non addictive, non invasive, and drug free, they get very excited because they're dealing with the side effects sometimes with these meds. And they go, I'll try anything, Kev, because I still have a challenge with my pain. Okay, number four. Number five, peace. Okay, so deal with stress. Now, we have a different, we had an old school product. We still have it. It's a sleeve. There's a pattern, another one right there. You can see that pattern on the inside. Karen's got it on her arm. Where's my awesome model? There's Karen showing her sleeve. And that you could wear this sleeve or the simplicity of just wearing now a patch because I have children, for example, or students that are kind of self-conscious. Right, because people people see us a mile away before they make a judgment, and sometimes people aren't so nice. So with kids or teenagers or whatever, even at work, to wear something if you want that it can be kind of hidden, it brings peace to people because they don't want to attract attention to themselves. Some people on the opposite, like Karen and others that we know, love attracting attention because they wear the technology. People say, hey, what's that? Hey, hey, Kev, do you have like a smoking problem? No, I don't have a smoking problem. Um, what is that for? Let me tell you. Starts a conversation. It's about helping people. Okay? So that's peace. Next one, liberty. Liberty is what I'm wearing on my feet. Socks. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm flexible, but not quite there. But my socks is this. It's a pattern that's woven into a sock. You can wear a patch. And what basically it says, get moving like never before. So again, it's dealing with a part of the brain. Very simple folks called the brain stem. The brain stem is like the front door to your house. You got to go through the front door and you got to leave through the front door. So your nervous system, if you don't know anyone's nervous system, it's in perpetual state of receiving and delivering messages all the time called feedback okay it's called negative feedback and positive feedback but it's information in brain feels it makes a decision based on information and evokes a response all the time it's continually working on your body even when you sleep so again having a technology that opens up the front door into the brain to allow your brain to function better globally is what we have when you see those other texts you can get specific now you can kind of hone in on specific areas that you know you've got a challenge. And now the brain says, great, we got that part of the room looked after. Let's go work on something else. Because that's the job of the brain, folks. It's to keep you working at your optimum all the time. So again, what do you do to help that? Next one, defend. I just showed you this one. So I got the new one. I, Folks, we have a couple of videos. I don't know if Karen's going to touch on this or maybe Paul will. But we show you what actually happens with your blood within 20 to 30 minutes. We'll actually change how your blood functions. Now, if you know nothing about your blood, your blood is the messaging service to, or the delivery service of how you deliver goods to every single cell in your body. For example, oxygen. You breathe, a little red blood cell comes in, very small picks up the oxygen, travels through your circulatory system, okay? Arrives at the destination, delivers the oxygen, picks up the garbage, carbon dioxide, takes it out and you get rid of it. When that system's working great, guess what? Every cell's getting the mail. Every cell's, get, every cell's getting the right mail, which is what? Oxygen. You don't get oxygen, guess what? You got a problem. I'm not gonna get into those conditions. If you're dealing with one of those, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So again, your immune system is so critical because it's your defense. And it's just another tool in your toolbox, okay? So defend, protect your health like never before, okay? You want to be on the defense. 
prevent. Prevention is everything. Okay. Next one, focus. Study like never before. For those of you that are academically inclined, like a parent, like a child in school, or yourself, and you need to be on point, again, there's an option called focus. Okay. And we've also had, again, before my sleeve gets so excited, I want to talk about this is a sleeve. Karen's got an arm. Karen, nope, there. The sleeve is another tool that we use in the toolbox. Why? It's a conversation in regards to that. Okay. And we're coming down to the end here, folks. I think that's it. We're done. I covered eight. So we have eight different neurotechnologies. You decide based on a conversation with the associate who's sharing the information with you, saying, hey, what do you got? Let me tell you my challenges. Let's start where? Let's start here. And so for me, I'll just share this quickly and I'll pass it on to Karen. My top two are my top two favorite technologies that I wear all the time. And I've been at this for eight years, folks. I'm 62 years old, almost 62. I can keep up with the 20-year-olds. People ask me, how do you do it, Kev? Well, I learned a few things. But my top two would be the Liberty Patch or the HPT called Human Performance Technology because it's the brainstem. Okay, that's number one. Number two is I will, I will breathe my last breath with that pink patch, with that immune neurovax on my body, the pen patch. Why? Because I understand about, I've taught about the immune system for 30 years. I know a lot about the immune system. And I want to do everything I can because I got a two-year-old granddaughter. And maybe one day I'll get old enough that maybe I'll be a great grandfather. That'd be pretty cool. I'm a grandpa now. But to be able to be a great grandpa and play with my great grandson and great granddaughter. I need my body to be there for me when I get older. I'm already, I'm getting there now, but I don't feel old. And I'll close on this. There's a chronological age, folks, and a physiological age. There are people that look a lot younger than what they actually are. And they actually feel a lot younger than what they are. And there are people that I met who look a lot older than what they are because of what they've done to their body. And it wears itself down. So our job is to help you be your best with what we have learned about the brain and the body and sharing what we've learned by stories, by science, by testimonies, by video, by graphics, by images. And then what? You decide. Why? Because you're living in that body. And you got to look at it every day. Whether you like it or not, in that mirror going, am I at 100% or no, I'm not there? Okay, I got to need a top up somewhere. What do you got to do? You got to optimize your body, folks. So on that note, Karen, I will cut her, shut her down here. And uh, thanks for allowing me to share again. I get very passionate with this, folks, because I've seen firsthand what this done to some very challenged people in my family that were looking for answers. And they couldn't find them. But then Uncle Kev comes along and they go, Uncle Kev, you got an answer? Yeah, I got a solution. I have a potential solution to your challenge. Let me show you what it does. That's why we talked about the demo. So anyways, I'm done. I'll stop talking. I promise. I promise. Awesome. Thank you so, so much, Kevin, uh, for your time and for always, you know, helping out and I want to bring on another great uh, team member, teammate of mine, my upline. These gentlemen are both my upline, Paul Austin, and he's going to touch on a little bit about the business. I know um, our VP of sales, uh, Steve Schultz, dropped a message for me to drop into the group today. And, you know, most of all, we want you all to become customers. But if you are intrigued by what you're hearing and what you've seen over the past week, let's let Paul uh, talk to you and 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 let's go. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Kevin. Uh, wow. I, I love, I just, uh, I was on just a few minutes late. Um, I'll get to that, but just the way you explained it and everything is, is just so, so everyone can understand it. And, and, and the simpler you keep it, the better it is. Uh, if you feel the magic, you feel that demonstration, the rest is just makes sense. And uh, I mean, I've been in this a long time. I started from the beginning, just like Kevin and Kevin's the 
the first guy in the company. And I think I was like the third one or something. And <laughs> we ran around with a box of socks and a, and a, and a sock with a mannequin on it. And people thought we were right out of our mind. And here we are six years later. And, you know, it's never, uh, it's never been uh, better because what, what we have now with those super patches is incredible. And it's funny, Kevin, you mentioned um, live blood. Well, I was literally on the phone. That's why I was late to this to someone who has been in the business before, but COVID hit and all that stuff. And they were reconnecting and they wanted to know about the practitioners program because we have a practitioners program with, you know, thousands of doctors and healthcare workers and all those different things. Uh, there's qualifications and somebody can fill you in on that. But anyway, the discussion was her just trying to get me to fill her in on like where things have gone. And, and I, I immediately, I had to just say to her, okay, I just, I need to, cause she was talking about her mom who's compromised and different things like that. And immediately the neurovax came to mind. And it's so funny because I've been in this so long and I've demoed, I've seen miracles happen in front of my eyes, but what I truly didn't realize was just how powerful the neurovax was. And my mind was trying to, oh, come on, optimal immunity. Like, uh, how could this guy possibly do this? Like, I I'm trying to get my head around it. So there was an event in Chicago. And that was at the very beginning of this year, I think February or March or something. And anyway, they did the live blood analysis right on the spot. And obviously, I was unable to go. It was just, you know, the restrictions, different things. So I didn't, I wasn't there at the event firsthand. So I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. And then next thing you know, we have an event in Mississauga, which is literally where this is all, this is where this was birthed in Canada. And uh, sure enough, we go to the event. We actually were the ones that set the event up and Kevin spoke and Karen was with me and we set this all up. So we had like over 350 people online streaming in and we had like, I don't know, 75, 80 people in the room. And it was incredible because we had the live blood analysis person there and they got that intricate microscope and sure enough they did the live blood and we were seeing bacteria and fungi and seeing like a rollo effect and it's where blood stacks and there's not enough oxygen getting to it like you know kevin was explaining about the the body you know everything needs to get the the oxygen and spread it throughout so all of a sudden they did that without somebody ever had the neurovax patch. Well, I've got it on right here ever before. <laughs> and we broke for lunch and did all those things and literally came back. I think it was probably two, two and a half hours later, they did the blood again. And then the person put it on the microscope. And what I saw was just miraculous. It was all the red blood cells with the right oxygen, the proper white blood cells that clean up behind all the Rolo effect kind of going away. And, and, and I was just stunned. I saw it right in front of my eyes. And I, and that was the moment. I don't know why I needed to see that, but anyway, <laughs> that was it. I, I just like, now I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, I chronically wear it. I did before, but I was kind of, cause you can't feel it. You don't know. No. You're trying to say, really, I, I can't feel it. So you got to feel HPT. And then the rest just, like I said, will make sense. So this is what happened, guys. I was introduced to this with, uh, by a good friend of mine, Terry St. Ammon. I was in Dallas at the time. He said, hey, man, do you want to see some magic? Okay. I kind of was like, everybody likes magic. Sure. What's he going to do here? Or pull out some cards or whatever. So no, sure enough, he holds a pair of socks up. <laughs> and I started laughing because I was like, okay, socks, magic. What do you mean? So he did this demo to me. It was like a lateral stability, a dynamic stability and a range of motion. And when it, when I had the socks on, it's just, it was stunning. It was stunning how I felt, but I was still thinking I was being punked or something was going on. So I had to like, actually not trust my good friend and go and see someone else. And I did it to them and it worked. And now my mind was like, darn it, it worked. <laughs> How's this possible? Now I just wanted to box the world. And anyways, just because I thought it was the coolest thing. And at that point, I thought it was for sport. I thought it was, ah, you know, stronger, all that stuff, right? So anyways, I wanted to box every person I saw, but then I found out the company wasn't even open yet. I, you know, I couldn't even say a word. So I had to be tight-lipped and, and keep it to myself. So anyways, time came, the company opened. I got a phone call. Do you want to do this? I said, look, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll 
I'll, I'll get the socks. I'll share them with people. I'm so busy. I'm renovating my house. That's a big, long story. But it took me until about, I think it was about probably, I started in July. So I was till about end of September before I got my house done. So as I was working, I'm just going to tell my own little story why I I knew that this, there was something more to this even than the, the demo. So I was busy, busy, and I'm renovating, and I'm ripping my house down to the walls. I got no one to help me. And I remember I was in the basement, and I just looked over, and I saw the box of socks that I had got, and I had thrown them in the corner. I literally, that was cool. I got the socks. But then I thought to myself, why don't I put the socks on? Strength, <laughs> stability, energy, just silly, right? But anyways, I was not happy having to work by myself most of the time, and it was really hard to do. So I gave them a roll. I didn't know if it was the coffees. I So I was not drinking coffee. I was trying all these things. At the end of the day, the, it's real. It's the real deal. So now I'm still contemplating and I'm a very skeptical, even this industry I was skeptical about. And I'm just like, no, I'm just, uh, uh, this is just crazy stuff I need to find somebody that I don't know because I was sharing with my family and stuff and they were like yeah they're helping or oh I feel this and I don't know if they're just making me feel good so I met a girl at a coffee shop I didn't know her she met me we talked about the socks I demoed her she was blown away she wondered if I was really doing the demo right and I said look I'm I got better things to do than to make you come to a coffee shop and me show you a pair of socks <laughs> you know and we laughed about that so after I was watching, I, I realized that she didn't have any socks on. So I said, why don't you put these on? Something amazing could happen right away. So sure enough, she puts them on. Very nice lady. We chatted for at least a half an hour or something. And then the next thing you know, she tapped on the table and said, what are in these? And I, it was kind of a, a look of, I don't, I didn't know how to take it, put it that way. I said, oh, why, what's going on? And I'm a little nervous. And she said, oh my gosh, Paul, I didn't tell you. All, all I told you about was all my neurological issues. But I never told you that I have diabetic neuropathy and I cannot feel the front of my toes for the last four and a half years. And she says, I feel everything. And I'm seeing tears kind of, and I'm like, you, you don't understand. I'm, I got goosebumps. I'm, <laughs> I'm in a, I'm in a, this is not happening. Like I'm in a dream or something. I said, can you explain that again? You just told me that you feel your toes that you haven't in four and a half years. Pardon? She goes, I'm telling you, I, I just bought shoes a week and a half ago and I, I can feel that they're crushed up against the front of it. This is crazy. And her mind was spinning and mine was too. Long story short, she left. She's, I know that she was kind of trying to process everything. I was as well. I went home. The next morning, I get a call at 10 o'clock, and it's the CEO's great friend. He was there in the beginning. His name's Dan, amazing man. And he says, Paul, you'll never believe this. Heather's here. And I said, Heather who? Well, Heather, <laughs> that you met at the coffee shop. And then I'm like, what is going on here? I've never been to head office. Like, I'm, I'm in Barrie. I'm not far away, but I've just never went there yet because I haven't even really started anything, really. Um, anyway, so that was just like, you're kidding me. And that's the kind of stuff that just, it's it, it just, you try to figure out because she needed to go hug the owner or the whoever invented this and say, you changed my life because not only did that happen, it was the, the uh, going on the treadmill and normally 10, 15 minutes. And then next thing you know, she's on there for like an hour and she's watching a movie and then she's consciously jump like didn't jump but got off because she was like how did I just do that so that was just so powerful for me that my I really I thought I don't know it's like an accidental business it's all I can explain is like I thought it was the coolest thing ever and then those kind of miracle like things happen in front of my eyes without drugs without you know they didn't take a pill and then oh bravo the pharmaceutical it was like it's a sock like is this, this is can't be possible but it is like I don't know this lady and that was it I, I knew that okay I'm just going to go around and share this and see what happens and I mean 14 months later I was making a six-figure income I this team was just growing it it's just incredible it's just like the and we haven't even touched the surface like of course COVID gives you a little dip it did to the entire world but now we've got these patches in place we have 
what, 994 million more people to help. We've helped 6 million plus. So I'm in on that. And, and yes, I want to make money. And guess what? There has to be money so that we get to a billion people. There has to be an economic system wrapped around it or it's not going to happen. And Jay, the inventor, said himself, if I could sit downtown Toronto or in the, a major metropolis somewhere and somebody kept handing me, now let's say it's patches, I would just hand them out for free to the entire planet so that we got to the billion. I don't care about the money because if we get to a billion people, the rest just follows behind. So if you want an incredible opportunity, take Karen's advice. This is not about you joining a business. It's about the product. I had to be that product tester and you guys need to be too, because as soon as you know what it's done or how it's helped one of your family members, it's like almost I'm obligated to tell everyone about it. I can't let somebody walk past me because, oh my gosh, I might be able to let, let, get you to put that cane in your closet. Like I have a lot of canes in closets and walkers because this tech has helped somebody so much that they have that confidence again to walk and things like that. So all I can say is get the product, get enough of it so that you can be consistent. Don't think something's going to happen. And this, here's, here's what happens. It happens. Some things happen instantly, but I'm saying certain things might take minutes, hours, weeks, maybe a month or two. We're all different neurologically. We're all damaged differently. We all have different things going on, but just trust the process where it consistently and then if you're trying to doubt yourself, then after 20, 21 days or something, just maybe not wear it for a day and see how you feel. And you'll probably go back in time and you'll wish you were back where you were the day before. That's it. All personal experience. I never do this. I, I've had people that are like, I want to join. And I'm like, whoa, I, I, I know you get the excitement behind it. But what if you hate it? Like, what are you going to go and tell everybody? No, you're not. So just please use the product. Um, and, and the rest is history, you know, and, and if you can just refer people to your friends, that's, that's really what is, is a big part of it as well, because a billion is a big number and we have a, a long way to go. So thanks for having me on here, Karen. I'm, I'm glad I was able to do this and that I got to jump on on time. So Awesome. Well, Paul, thank you so much as well. And if it hadn't been for you doing posts that I saw almost six years ago, I would never be here either. And as you alluded to being a skeptic, I was a skeptic too, so much so that I wasn't even going to put the product on me. My mom at the time was 88 years old. And I will tell you people, if anyone is going to tell you that a product or a company is a scam, it's going to be somebody who's in their 80s. Trust me. And like Paul doing the demo on a young lady in a coffee shop, I took a pair of socks from Paul. Actually, I told him I wasn't even going to pay him because he'd be getting them back. So there was no sense me even paying him. And I went right away from when I saw Paul and took those socks over to my mom who dealt with diabetic neuropathy so much so that there were days where she was literally, I'm going to try not to cry, crawling on the floor. Yeah. yeah. When I took these socks to her, all I said to her was, put these socks on. You've always been trying to look for a comfy pair of socks. I found a pair for you. Just put them on. Within 15 minutes of her putting those socks on, I heard, Karen, you need to be quiet. Now, when my mom tells me to be quiet, even though I'm in my 50s, I be quiet. So uh, she's like, I can feel my feet. Yeah. And I'm like, you what? She goes, I can feel my feet. And I go, no, you can't. She goes, I'm telling you, I'm feeling my feet. I said, let me tell you something. Wear them over the weekend. I'm going to check back with, with you in on Monday and we'll see whether or not you're feeling your feet. Monday comes. Bear in mind, my father had passed seven years prior. So she's an eight, 88 year old lady living on her own in her own home uh, using a walker. And uh, she doesn't like to be a burden to a lot of people, but Mondays were her day to go out with her one friend, Marie. So her and Marie went out and it's a normal thing. You go out in the morning, you do your shopping, you go to Swiss Chalet, you have your chicken lunch, you go home and you have a nap and your day is done. You're 88, you're fatigued, you're tired, you're sore. I called her at 530 on that Monday night and I get, hello. And I'm like, hi, 
I said, you're pretty darn chipper. You must have had a really good sleep this afternoon. And she's like, sleep, what sleep? And I'm like, pardon me? Because I haven't had a nap. And I said, did you go with Marie this morning? And she's like, yeah. And I said, did you go have lunch? And she's like, yeah. And I said, and you had your nap? And she goes, no. We continued on. We went to Walmart after that. We walked around Costco after that. And I went, pardon me, no nap. She goes, no, I'm just sitting down to dinner. And I went, hmm. Yeah. She goes, I want to tell you something. And I said, what's that? And she goes, well, first of all, I knew I should have had Kleenex. First of all, I want to thank you for giving me back my life. Yeah. And um, she goes, second of all, I didn't use my walker today. Yeah. That walker has been sitting in that corner for over five years. Other than when she had to have surgery on her leg to replace a vein and she also had a fall and she had broke her pelvis in two spots. Now listen to this, two spots at 90 years old. That is fatal for most people. I was told my mom would be in the hospital for two weeks minimum and then transferred to a rehab to learn how to walk again. And she'd probably be in there for three to four months. Every single day, she wore a pair of socks, a pair of wellness socks, the ones that are approved for diabetics. She wore a pair every single day. It was on her chart at the end of her hospital bed. Please keep box on. My mom was out of that hospital in five days and transferred to rehab and out of rehab in four and a half weeks. Walking again, no walker. And I've shared a video with my mom getting out of her wheelchair after having her surgery on her leg and saying, I never thought I would walk again. These products, my friends, are what has allowed my mom to still be with me to this day. She will be 93 in November. So the business part, absolutely. Um, when I saw that, I was all in. Now I jumped in with both feet. I did quit my full-time job. I have a very supportive husband and I just said, I know I need to do this. I know there are people around the world that I need to help along with this great team that we have. And as you see, and as you would have seen if uh, you had tuned in during the week as well, I had other people come in to the group and share their testimonials. And these people are not even in my team because you know why? We are all one team. The culture in this company is bar none, the best I have ever seen in any network marketing company ever. So I'm going to leave that with you. But what I do want to just briefly touch on is our amazing brand champion program. For those of you who are already an existing customer, you have that refer a friend tab on your customer account where you can enter your name, your email address, your customer number. And if you don't have it, you can get it from the person who you signed up under. And then you can put in the email addresses of all of those friends and family that you want to share the amazing benefits of Vox Life with. And because we are counting on you to share, um, Vox Life is going to give you $30 for every single person that you refer that places an order. But it gets better. When those people place a subsequent order, you're also going to get 5%, kind of like a commission, but a credit in your customer account so that you can use towards more product. So those $30 credits, you can, I call it rack them and stack them for up to 90 days. And uh, for those of you that are brand new to Vox Life, when you place your very first order, Vox Life is gonna give you 25% off your entire order at checkout. And then you can become the brand champion program, uh, person and share with your friends and family and start earning those $30 credits as well. So you know what, it's a win-win all around. Um, I want to thank you gentlemen for joining me. I'm going to turn this into a Q&A. Um, I know we have some people on the Zoom with us. I'm going to have them raise their hand if they have a question. And I'm going to just quickly go into my phone because I set up a prize wheel. There are actually 103 names on this prize wheel of people that have joined us this week. Now, the thing is, for the prize, you have to be in it to win it, which means you either need to be on this Zoom call or you have to be in the group right now watching this being streamed. So we're going to do one spin. 
And that lucky winner will get a prize package valued at $120 retail. So here's my handy dandy spinner. <laughs> I'm going to just quickly hit the spin and we're gonna see who the winner is. And hopefully Corey Cole is on the call. So I will go into my uh, into the room and just double check. I'll write down Corey's name and I'll check, but I know we have some questions. I'm gonna put them out to you guys and maybe you can answer them. And the first one was, can you wear multiple patches or products at one time? Simple answer, yes. Uh, <laughs> there we go, that's simple answer. They, none of the technologies, contra, there's no contraindications folks. It's not like you can take, you know, this, and it's going to interact with that. Again, we talked about at the beginning, different neurological networks. Okay, there's a lot of them in the brain. We're not going to get into all of them, not this time and call, but you decide where you are having the greatest challenges or inconveniences. I call it neurological inconveniences for people, um, where you're having the greatest challenges. And then you can start very simply with one, and you can slowly keep adding to it based on what you want or even what you can afford, right? Because it's, you know, wellness is, folks, wellness isn't inexpensive, but sickness can be very expensive. And it's a question of what do you want to invest in to help you be your best? Because for most of us, there's a lot of people depending on us to stay healthy to be our best. So the nice thing about the tech is you can wear all eight patches if you want and you can put them anywhere on the body. That's what's even cooler because it's pattern recognition. Each patch is a specific pattern. Think of it as a code. Think of it as a password to your phone. And that specific password, like all of us on this call have our own individual password for our phone. Well, Jay has found out that individual code or password for that specific part of the brain. And if you want to optimize it, buy the patch and do your own experiment. Journal, write down, follow up and see what happens to you. And just like Paul and Karen have shared, follow up, they've seen a lot of stories. And they go, like maybe Paul you'll be one of those stories. Follow up. But you won't know if you don't try it, maybe you'll be one of those stories. So there you right. go. Right. Awesome. Um, I know there was a question in the chat um, on the Facebook uh, group about having socks um, with uh, like a non-slip sole, what have you. Now, I do know that we have our wellness socks actually come in what's called a box tread that have them on. Now, these socks are a lot easier to get on than our athletic, so they are, there is more give to them. However, I will also say, because I know part of the comment was um, a lot of the elderly people have problems, you know, putting socks on or pulling socks on that aren't kind of like an ankle sock sort of thing. So there's a couple of things. Um, I know myself, I have a customer who can't bend over to get her socks on. So she's got this apparatus. I don't know, I call it a socker. Um, and you slip the sock on it and then you just put it over your foot and it slides it up for you. So there are some other tools out there that we can use along with our tech to get them on. I know I have an associate on my team who, although it would void the warranty of the sock, she has gone out and got a, a bottle of, it's kind of like, a, you put dots on the bottom of your socks and they're a gripper as well. And it works well for her. So, you know, talking about our warranty, we do have a 30 day money back warranty on most of our products. Um, obviously our shapewear and our, our chillet um, don't fall into that category and open packages of patches um, are, are a different uh, warranty, but we can certainly discuss that with you. But I can tell you guys, and I'm sure Kevin and, and Paul, you can attest to this as well. In the almost six years that I've been doing this, I could probably count on one hand how many returns I've had. Yeah. 
um, you know, our return rate is less than 1% over 6 million people helped. And I mean, that's, that's pretty incredible because, you know, we have solutions that work. And like Paul alluded to, it's all about trusting the process and sticking with it, not trying it for a couple of days and going, oh, never mind, it never did anything, so I'm not going to continue. I, for one, dealt with things with migraines and restless leg syndrome and they seem to clear up within that 30 days but i'll tell you my sciatica nerve pain took at least seven to eight weeks and if i had not have continued i still would have been on pretty heavy narcotics for pain so no drugs uh for the past five and a half years pretty much pain-free every day the odd time but nothing that i can't manage on a daily basis um is there anybody on the zoom that has any questions just raise your hand and i can get to you and i'll check the chat in the meantime one of the uh one of the until we get a question one of the analogies that i use folks so being involved in athletics and you know paul with renovating his house uh, i shall use paul's renovation story when Paul started renovating his basement, and I think it grew into the entire home, it was a project he, he, he loved doing this kind of stuff. It didn't happen overnight. Okay, there's no home reno that happens within a matter of hours. Those television shows that we used to watch condense it in an hour, but there's a lot of work that went into that process to finish to get to the finished product. It's a question of, in Paul's case, it was days and weeks. So he kicks the family out. You guys go away so I can work in peace. But it took time. But what Paul did is every day he worked on his house. Every day he worked on it, worked on it all day long. And then eventually it starts coming together. And then there's the finished product. But see, folks, if you have a house like Paul rebuilt at his cottage or his hunting lodge or whatever, there's something called maintenance. There's ongoing maintenance that has to be done on the home, just like our body. So the food that we eat, the water that we drink, the exercise that we do, whatever you take, whatever, it's continual maintenance of the body. So what? The house stays together. It doesn't fall down. It wasn't like, it was an old camouflage special that Paul did with his home. No, man, I'm building it from the ground up. I'm going to rebuild the foundation. I'm going to do it properly. I'm going to put the studs the right way apart. I'm going to build it so it'd be like rock salt because there's a tornado, hurricane, a tornado went through Barry. Paul says, my house ain't coming down. I'm going to build this thing properly. I said, that's the same thing with wellness, folks. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. But then when you find the right recipe, and you know what the cool thing about wellness folks is? You're always tweaking the recipe. So like Paul, if you listen to Paul's story, when we first started, folks, in fact, I am so old, all we had was an insole. We didn't have any of this stuff. But guess what? Like any technology, it evolves. It improves. It's like your phone. There's a new iOS that comes out for an upgrade on your phone and Apple sends you it free because you're a customer because you want your phone to work better. Well, if my phone is my body and I want it to be working at its best all the time, I'm going to invest in it. What I've learned, if you invest in the right principles, you will reap great rewards. Just like Paul and Heather, just like Karen and her mom, just like me and my, and so just remember this, folks. When you have a mom story, it's over. Like Vince Carter, it's over. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Because when you see your mom excited that she didn't have a nap, and, you, and Karen cries every time, folks. I've known her for a long time. She cries every single time on this call. Paul has seen those moments. So have I. It touches you in the deepest parts of your heart and your core. Is like Paul and Karen said, and those of us on the call, you just shared something. If I could show you something that could help you, we don't lead with the business, folks. The business happens through your own experience. Because what do you do? You tell a story. <laughs> you tell your own story. <laughs> tell it over and over. People never get people never get tired because it's the truth. 
And when you're telling the truth, they can feel it and they can see it and they can hear, hear it. And by the way, folks, it's all neurology anyways. It's called your medulla oblongata. I'll say it in clean language. It's your BS meter. It knows that Paul's telling the truth and Karen's telling the truth and Kev's telling the truth. Why? They're not, they couldn't make the story up. No way. No, man, I was, we were there in the moment. Paul is scratching his head in the restaurant going, what, what's going on here, man? <laughs> He's always, it's the same story. That's how powerful this is. So, of course, when it's powerful, folks, you're going to have skeptics because they're going to go say, there's no way. You know, well, but when you learn about neurology, folks, it is instant in certain indications because that's pain. Because when you touch a stove and that pain point gets activated with heat, you don't have to think about moving your finger away from the stove. It's instant. Why? It's a protective mechanism. It's called a pain reflex. Okay, it's automatic. You don't have to think, should I move my hand away or leave it in the fire? It's gone. Your brain says, you don't have time to think, Kev. I'm looking after you. That's your nervous system. That's how fast it works. That's why Paul and Karen shared about the demo. It's instant in one of those in indications when we share the tech all the time. Why? It's the brainstem. It has to be instant because that's how fast you have to react in situations. Fight or flight, it's instant. You don't have time to think when you're getting cut off. I got cut off last, three days ago. I was driving home on a 400. A semi starts squeezing me into the shoulder. I got to react because I have a bit of a weight differential between my vehicle and the semi. I lose. So what I got to do? I lean on the horn. But I was calm behind the wheel. I didn't panic. I just moved over the shoulder <laughs> and kept driving and kept the car on the road. I didn't go into the ditch. But you know what? I've got truck drivers that get tired at night and they're not focused behind the wheel and they can't concentrate. And sometimes they make a mistake. To me, I could have been a mistake. I could have been a fatality, but I was cognizant enough to be paying attention to make the right decisions. So I make it home, not um, Mrs. Duguay, I need to come to the hospital. There's been an accident, defensive driving. Welcome to my defense patch. <laughs> awesome. So there's a couple more questions here. Um, Linda Clark asks, um, I'm sorry I was late, but you talked about blood. Does this help with diabetes? Well, I guess what we can say is we have a, a dead diabetic approved sock. Uh, so we've thought of all those things uh, and, and covered all the bases on there. They're, they're approved for that. But we can say, you know, 90 plus percent effective with diabetic neuropathy. And we have a study on it. If anybody needs it, it can be shared. It's, it's on our, our website also. So um, we have done studies. Um, it, I've helped so many people with uh, whether they're diabetic type A type, um, geez, type one or two, a type, one or two, seven, <laughs> maybe one, two. Um, yeah. So, you know, I, I, just through experience, I can just say my own, I have six plus years. Oh, the amount of people I've helped is, is crazy with that um, going on. I hope that helps. Can we say, Hey, you won't have diabetes. No, we never claim treat, prevent, cure. We don't say those things unless we're allowed to. So um, again, it's best experience, but that's, pretty darn good because <laughs> that's yeah. a lot of thought that they suffer from so yeah yeah what I will say is um although obviously as I said at the beginning we don't treat diagnose cure prevent anything um and we don't claim anything that we don't have studies to back up which are all uh double blind third-party studies with a placebo and everything else um but I encourage you to check out the Vox Life testimonials group because what I can say is there are people there that have shared their story and their experience with A1C levels coming down. Um, but as Paul alluded to, diabetic neuropathy, yes, we can, we can say that it's going to help with that. We have studies to show that. 
The only thing that we can do is direct you to the Vox Life Testimonials group and see what other people are sharing with their experiences with, you know, diabetes type one, two, or, or what have you. So, Kevin? You, you know, what's, what's, Linda, what's really fascinating with diabetic neuropathy is the following, okay? Is that when you ask, ask these people, so it's a conversation, right, you have with people. So how are you doing? Are you happy with how you are progressing with finding a solution for your challenge? And they're going to tell you, no, I'm not. Why? Because it's slowly getting what? Worse. Worse. It's what they tell you. This is what I hear. So what? So I come back because see, they're looking for answers. Now, if they were able to find their answers, the problem would go away. But somehow we keep fighting these people. Okay. Now there's a root cause to the disease. Well, that's another system. But here's the here's the kicker. I say, how has the diabetic neuropathy affected your balance and stability? Oh, Kev. Let me tell you. So they tell me, and I listen, and I come back with a solution. What if? I could show you right here, right now, in the coffee shop, in the mall, in the parking lot, that I could instantly improve your balance and stability. We're going to get to the other stuff, but right now, your challenge that you just told me you had, I can solve your answer stat right now. No way. You could? Yeah. Let me show you. So just like Paul and Karen shared, we do the demo, and that patch is the Liberty patch, or the socks, or the HPT. And we got show and tell all. We got experts. We got the vannas and the vannies on these calls. And we so let me show it right now. And I do. We do the demo right there on the spot. You know what, folks? Because it's neuro, it's this instantly balance and stability is improved. Which coming back to Karen's mom, because I work with seniors. The mortality rates with seniors that fall and break their hip are bad stats. Almost 50% are gone within three years. 20% within three months. 50% within three years are no longer here on this planet. Karen's mom's got lots to do. She's busy. I said, that's what I, I got stats that tell me if you fall, the outcome is not going to be good. What if we could flip it and get you on a different path? Kev, I'll, I'll do anything. Call, Karen, I'll try anything right now. Those are the right people. They're the open-minded ones. They're looking, I'm, you're telling me I'm going to prove it to you right here, right now. So I do. we do the demo. I've done this in seniors' homes. They're, they, they break out in tears, folks. Because just like Paul, Karen said, they get the instant miracle on the spot. And then all their friends are coming out and they're going, hey, can I, can I, can I get one of those blue stickers too? Yeah, no problem. Line up and I do the demo. And guess what? I'm there for two and a half hours at a senior's home because that's what they got. They got quality of life. They got quality of life on a neuro patch. How, how simple is that? Now they got a completely different mind shift neurologically in their in their mental well-being. Now they got a word called hope. Why? Because they weren't they didn't have any hope before Paul, Karen, and I walked in. And neither did Heather. I'm sure when she saw Paul, she's praying. I saw that guy's post. He answered. I remember the story. I I'm praying this guy can help me. And I'll travel as far as I, because she traveled a long way to meet Paul, by the way. I mean, it was a really cool story because she was looking for an answer. And she did. And the beauty happened. And you can watch the interview because she's telling the story. That's how powerful this is, folks. But you don't know what you don't know. So this is why we share. Why? Because it's the most beautiful way to get information out to people through your own personal experience. And then they do their awesome. own experiment. So anyways. Awesome. Um, I know I have quite a few of uh, my amazing associates in the 
uh, in the group and they're answering questions as they go along, which is great. Thank you. Um, some easy ones that I'm just going to quickly touch on. Uh, do you have to hand wash the socks? No, you don't have to. Um, our socks and our sleeves can actually go into the wash machine in cold water. I would suggest though that you do not tumble dry them and it does say that on the packaging only because there is some spandex in the products and you don't want the heat uh, you know, disturbing those fat, the, the fabric sooner than what it normally would. So definitely, yes, you can uh, put them in the washing machine. Somebody else had a question about the tops of the socks bad for making marks. Um, I know when I wear my ones that are up the back of my calf, it leaves a slight mark on my leg, but I'm not in pain. So I'm really not worried about the mark that's on my leg. It's not digging in that's, you know, causing any pain or anything like that. So depending on the size of the thigh, I guess you would say, or the calf, it, it could leave uh, a, a mark, like a ring around it. So Karen, can I add to that question? Well, Absolutely. Sure. So folks, to give you, an, this, is, this is the CEO of the company, okay? I remember in the early days, I went to a senior's home. We walk in with an athletic sock, okay, like this. I do the demo with a pair of insoles, and they're blown away. They go, what kind of socks you got? Like, what kind of beans you got? What kind of socks? I got this athletic sock. She goes, the lady goes, I can't wear those socks. I says, why not? See, I don't have diabetes, folks. I don't understand what it is to have swollen legs. So I don't have a circulatory problem. She goes, we don't wear these special socks. What do you mean special socks? Oh, they're diabetic approved. Oh, so I go back to the office and Jay goes, how'd it go? Oh, they, they love the demo, but they can't wear our socks. Why not? Oh, they got, because of the, the, the swelling. So Jay, that's how, the, that's how the wellness sock was designed, folks. It's a diabetic proof sock. But to add to Karen's point, I was at a hockey event in Boston and the lady saw the banner. She walks up to the table and she goes, you can help with pain? I go, and balance? I go, yeah. He says, can you help me? She says, I'll show you what I can do. So she pulls up her legs, folks, and because of her heart condition, her calves are, her, her calves are like swollen like this. So I can't even fit a pair of socks on. So I said, I have an answer for you. She goes, you do? Because she goes, I can't wear socks because of the swelling in her feet. She says, I have this patch. She goes, what? Yeah, here, come over here. So I did the demo right there in the rink. And I said, I got a present for you. Here's a patch. Wear it tonight. Come back tomorrow. We'll check in. So she comes back the next day. Just one of these miracle moments I got. I'm trying not to cry. She comes back. I see her walking towards me. Now I got enough faith in the tech. I know it's going to be a good news story. I don't know what kind, but it's going to be a good news story. And she's already starting to cry. So I'm going, oh, it's going to be a good story. She goes, you remember me? Yep. She says, look at this. So she pulls up her pants and her swelling is down 50%. She's in tears, like Niagara Falls coming out of her eyes. She's going, this is a miracle. She goes, what do you mean? I haven't seen my legs like this in years. And she starts telling me about the meds that she's been on. And, everything. and she, she's looking for an answer. So that's what people do. If you're sick and you got a challenge, you're looking for answers. And he said, she just happened to come to the right wellness, neuro wellness consultant. That's what I call myself, a neuro wellness consultant. Let me share you about what I've learned about neuro. Let me show it to you. Touch it, feel it, try it. And the miracle happened. And guess what? She got more patches. Why? Because she has an inconvenience with her circulatory system. Because she has a heart that's not working properly that can't get the blood back up properly. So what happens? Her legs swell. So she has an inconvenience. She doesn't like it. She's looking for an answer. And the patch came through in the clutch. But what got her hoping and believing was the demo. I said, it's going to be a process. I don't know what's going to happen and how soon and how fast. It might be instant. The demo is. But the other stuff, eh, it's going to make, take some time. This one was, ex I, got, I got on the expedited plan, thankfully. Because that's what she needed. It worked instantly. And the next day, she's down 50%.
So just like Paul mentioned, folks, everybody's neuro journey is different. We all come to the wellness consultant with a different set of baggage. Some of us got a little, some of us got a lot. And the brain's trying to figure out, folks, and I'll explain to people, the brain knows you got all these problems, by the way. It's not a surprise to the brain, folks, let me tell you. And it's trying to prioritize what to work on to keep you alive. This is its job, in essence. So you can wake up every day and do what you got to do. So when you add wellness, the brain says, I know where to send the help. I'm going to go work on you, Kev. Give me the tools. Just like Paul, if he needs a hammer, I'm going to give him a hammer. If I give him a chisel, he's going, Kev, you got a problem? Kev, I asked for a hammer, not a chisel. I need a hammer for this specific part of the job. So he gets the hammer. Then I need a whatever. That's how the brain works, folks. It's in a continual state of renovating, taking down, and rebuilding all the time. In fact, your body totally renovates itself within one entire calendar year. Some faster, but your body will renovate. Now, if you're in a better neurological position, guess what? You're renovating better. Just think about that. You're renovating better because the messaging is better. It's clear. It's more concise. You're giving the body better tools. Guess what? There are certain tools that are good and there are certain tools that are better. Use the best tools. Watch what happens when you do a home run a project like Paul did. Turns out beautiful. <laughs> when you got to have the right tools. That's neurology. That's neuro wellness. This is the future of wellness care, folks. Karen? Awesome. All right. So I'm going to just wrap up with one last question. I know we're a little bit past eight o'clock, but um, the questions are coming in like crazy on the group. So for those of you, if we haven't answered your question uh, during this uh, live session, or it hasn't been answered by one of the people in the group, please drop the questions into the wearable wellness group. I'm going to keep that group open. Uh, you can invite friends and family to that going forward as well. And they can go back and they can look at the posts that have already been in there. I'm going to have a special message in there coming up this week um, from somebody very, very special and dear to all of our hearts. Um, but I'm going to leave on with this last question. Um, <clears throat> so uh, where was it? Sherry Rose. Is there anything that helps with autism? Our two and a half year old granddaughter is on the spectrum and sometimes can feel overwhelmed. She is nonverbal. Kevin. Myself, Kev could probably, uh, I, I would say flow though. I Go had it me. sitting here waiting. <laughs> um, in the past, it would have been the sleeve because I have helped many, many on the spectrum. But we're talking about a two and a half year old little girl. So our sleeve, unfortunately, is not going to work. Yeah. And I find as well, the, and like Kevin alluded to earlier, is some of the kids that are high functioning or uh, overstimulated, don't want other things touching their body like a full length sleeve. These patches are going to be so amazing. You can put it on their back where they can't reach it and pull it off. Um, flow is going to be amazing because this is what's going to help with the cognitive networks um, as well. But Kevin, I'll let you touch on that because I actually, you know, I posted something in the group this week of a mom who's son had a traumatic brain injury because of a accident, a car accident 20 years ago and was nonverbal. And 20 years later, after using our technology, yeah. spoke the words, mom, wow. one day. Amen. So um, I'll leave, I'll leave the question with you, Kevin, maybe you can. Sure. Well, you know, folks, all I can say is the following. We have those stories. So I, I want you to get your head around this, okay? If I'm talking to an autistic parent, I'm going I'm to tell you a story about this. I was at a home, home party. It is what it is. And there was a child with a neurological inconvenience. And to me, folks, it doesn't matter what it is. But I will come back to the autism in a second. So if you, if you look at different conditions, 
there's part of the brain is not, it's not functioning properly. You're going to, you got to really get the, you got to get to the root hunt of this. It's not about how you look, it's how you function. So you're trying to figure out how to get this messaging system to process information properly so they can function in society. So we've learned through therapies, there's different things, but for those of you that are in that category, and I've met those parents, they're very expensive. They're very expensive therapies. And, 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 this, and, and I, the reason I share this from the heart, because when I talk to these parents, eventually these kids grow up. Now, when they're young and they're an infant and a toddler and, and they're elementary school and high school and even the college system, because I've taught at the college system, we can accommodate them. I can look after them. We have a system that's in place. It is what it is. But at some point, they have to come out of that system. Now they got to come into the real world. And the parents go, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm really dreading, Kev. Because, and I'm, I share this. This was from a mom. She goes, Kev, if I pass away before my son or daughter does, we got a problem. I never forgot that message from that parent. Because... I'm the caregiver. I live with that child every day. I know them inside and out because I brought them into this world. Now, when you have those conversations with people, which we have, and then you go, if I could show you something that could help. See, they don't get those words like we share. See, I shared this earlier in the beginning, folks. We're solutions-based company. The texts that we have, when Jay brings them to market, they're already worked. They've already passed the testing phase. It's it's good to go. It's not. Can you guys go try this out in the field for me and see if it works? No, it works. That's that's the integrity of the CEO that we have. He's giving us the right tools. So now he says, I got this pattern that works in this part of the brain. So the talk with the kid. This was a five year old, not a two and a half. It was a five year old. She goes, my kid can't stay in the zone. So my question to the kid was, they don't understand neurology, they're five. She says, if I could make you feel like super, I said, who's your favorite superhero? He goes, Spider-Man. She said, if I could make you feel strong like Spider-Man, how cool would that be? And the kid goes, that'd be amazing. And I told the parents, when I do the demo on your son, I'll explain it to them, folks. They're in a neurological storm, okay? The brain doesn't work well in storms. Nobody works well in a storm. You're surviving. He says, I need to get your son to the beach. It's calm. It's quiet. It's called homeostasis. This is the, the, the technical scientific world, word. Everything's in balance. See, when you're in an autistic or ADHD or anxiety, you're out of balance, the teeter-totter is like down and you're stuck up here at the park and you can't get down because that kid's heavier than you. Remember those days? And you want to get down, but you can't get the perfect partner that you're in synchronicity. You're stuck here or you're stuck here, but you can't get right in the zone. We've all done that at the park. I think teeter-totter just don't run. I'm not sure. Safety, who knows? If I could help get your kid into that area, is that of interest to you? Yeah, yeah. So I said, watch this. When I do the demo on your son, he's not going to move. He's going to stay on the insoles. No way. That's impossible. He can't sit still for like 30 seconds. I says, I know why. Because see, when they do this, folks, this is their happy place. I learned this from another smart doctor in my family, in this family. She goes, people look at this as abnormal. For you and I, it appears abnormal. For those people in a neurology, this is their happy place. So they rock. I was in a meeting with this parent with the, the daughter. And the dad's concerned because the kid can't sit still. And I know and she, she, this is her peace. That's why they move. They can't sit still. They can't. So this is happy. This is the storm. You and I, it's opposite. So I do the demo on the kid on the insoles right there in the living room. And the kid stood there. There's a dynamic demo we do, folks. 
with, I do this with the kids because they stand tall like a tree and I push down on their fist and they're anchored in spot. Normally they would move forward. They would come forward on, they would lose their balance. And this kid is like planted in cement. And he stood there. I'm not going to cry. Probably will. He stood there for five flipping minutes. He just stood there like this, like the Statue of Liberty. And he didn't move a muscle. And I was talking to the parents. And they go, what did you just do? I says, not me. It's the tech. When the brain finds peace and harmony, it's like when you go on holidays, your favorite resort. You don't want to leave. Oh, God, I got to come back to Toronto. I got to deal with those airplane problems. I just want to stay at my resort. Well, that's where he was. And the brain kicks in, folks. This is how beautiful it is. It kicks in and says, don't move. Stay here. Why? I finally got out of the storm. Parent goes, I need socks and whatever you got, I'll take it, man. Because I've never seen my son like this. See, they were looking for an answer. So what we're learning, folks, as we grow this technology, you start with something. You start with the flow. You can start with the liberty. You can start with the liberty and the flow. You can pick and choose and say, you know what? I'm going to do a little experiment here. Why? Because right now, whatever you're doing is not working. Why? Because you asked the question. I got a child with this problem. Yeah, it's like my mechanic can't fix it. And I'm not knocking doctors because I work in that field. That's my background, sports medicine. My role as a therapist, if I don't solve the problem, I'm able, I'm gone. You know what? We're still around. Paul and I and Karen are still around for a long time. Why? We keep solving problems. We keep helping solve people's problems because we come and we listen and we say, can I show you something? It's called show and tell. See what that little patch does? Yeah, it works on this part of the neural network. You get the fuzzies out, whatever. Now they're at peace. Are you happy with where your child is at? Nope. Because he had a meltdown the other day and he punched a hole in the drywall. I get those stories. I'm tired of renovating my walls, Kev. The doctor doesn't see that. But Paul and I and Karen, we hear these stories. I go, what if I could help minimize your home renovation projects? That'd be good because I'm tired of fixing the walls. Let's try something. Why? Right now, you're losing. You're losing the game called quality of life. And the kid can't find peace. So what do they do? They keep doing this. Because that's all that the brain knows. And all of a sudden, you walk in with something else. And you're going to try it. But I assure you this. Who asked the question? When two and a half, it's tough to do the demo. I haven't done a demo on a kid that young, but I worked on a four-month-old with cerebral palsy. Worked. Saw the change. Saw the change in their facial expression. That's how powerful this tech is. But you won't know if you don't try and be consistent and give it a good shot. Give me a month. What's 30 days in the life of your child right now? if it could help balance and help optimize the nervous system so it could function better. And there's other stuff we can talk after that. I got other experts in the field here, but we start with, this is very simple because right now you're already thinking, see the kid can't think down the road, folks. This is, a, this is the heart to hearts we get into. Sorry about this. The kid's not thinking down the road because he can't, it's two and a half. But Paul's got a powerful parent story. I remember seeing it live. I get pretty emotional because when you got a dad break down in tears in front of you live on a zoom call when i'm in sarnia or london ontario somewhere it hits to the gut why because it's my daughter just like your child and you're going to and you, what degrees do you got paul i got school of life it doesn't matter about degrees but what you know and what we're learning what we have to share is not taught in the schools yet so some people don't know about it. But Paul said, we got a lot of practitioners who use this in their practice. Why? Because their results are better. And it's about getting people better. That's the bottom line in wellness. It's not about staying the same. Staying the same may be okay, but I want to get better. 
I'm not the best home renovator. 1-800-CALL-PAUL. Don't do that. It doesn't work. It takes too many numbers. But 1-800-CALL-PAUL. Because he knows how to renovate. He learned a few things. So you go to the experts to get the right answers. Don't go to people who don't have any answers. That's like a, that's playing a fool game. But Karen and Paul and Kev, we got lots of stories. Success. That's how beautiful this is. But you won't know if you don't try. And that applies to everything in life. That's what we got. So, yes, we have helped those kids in those, I call it neurological storms. Because this is the beach for that kid. And as long as they're rocking, they're happy. But when they stop rocking, the brain goes into whatever state. And then um, I've had stories of kids throwing objects because they had the meltdown now they don't throw things anymore that's another testimony we have the daughter actually shared you can contact karen on this story the daughter actually shared her story that she stopped throwing furniture in the classroom there are teachers on this call and there's teachers that you know that fear for their lives every day they go into the classroom because they have those kids who have neurological inconveniences and they got to deal with it and they don't know how. What if we could show you? I'm open to learning. Welcome to school. What do you got? I got a new subject called neuro wellness. Let me show you. I've done presentations in elementary schools. The kids love it because it's show and tell and it's stat and you're there to help them but share from your heart show them let them touch it let them feel it let them feel the magic feel that pattern yeah it's something special going to happen inside your brain no way go talk to dr paul he'll show you the brain blood analysis <laughs> go watch the movie <laughs> just tell me the results kev we got them that's how powerful this is folks yeah awesome awesome well kevin paul Thank you so, so much for taking up an hour and a half of your time this evening on a weekend at that. I appreciate you guys like, like there's no tomorrow. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. For those of you that are watching um, in the group, please drop any other questions that you may have. I'll go in there and answer them. If I don't have the answers, even after, you know, five plus years of doing this, there's still some things I don't know. Uh, we only know what we know, but I do know a lot. Um, we'll get the answer for you. If you're interested, <clears throat> sorry, in helping us uh, on our mission to help a billion people, whether it's being a customer and being a brand champion and sharing with your family and friends, or if this is something that you think you might want to have a side hustle or a side gig or whatever you want to call it, reach out to whoever invited you to the group and um, they'd be more than happy to help you all out. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. I hope everybody has an amazing rest of your Saturday evening and the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Appreciate Thanks, everybody taking the time. Great to see you Thanks. guys. Cool. Thanks. Thank you, everyone.